Hi everyone, welcome to another Solutions for Sustainability application sharing. These everyday applications are global best practices of AlphaVal partners. They help customers to save money, reduce carbon emissions and to save our natural resources. Today we're going to look at the Cooling Tower Interchanger. Now this application provides protection for downstream cooling equipment from the harmful effects of open cooling towers. What can they be? Fouling, calcium carbonate deposits and possible damages from chloride attack. The interchanger also helps to save water and water treatment costs with less than a two year payback period. Open cooling towers are one of the most widely used utility equipment in everyday HVAC and manufacturing industries. Why are they so popular? Well, they are one of the best inventions for heat rejection of cooling water. They are efficient and low capital investment. They work with evaporative cooling where 60 to 80% of the heat transfer is by evaporation and the rest by sensible heat. Looking into their construction, they can be either custom made, constructed of wood, galvanized or stainless steel, but the most common are fiberglass with modular sizes. Now one of the main components is the packing, which is made of lightweight plastic material. The packing provides a heat transfer surface for evaporation without restricting the air flow. Now here are two samples. This one has a narrow channel spacing, which is more efficient with more heat transfer area per meter cube. However, prone to fouling from airborne particles. This one on the other hand has a wider channel spacing. Now the choice between the two is a balance between efficiency and risk of blockage. Usually one would see airborne debris or biological growth on the packing and not so much calcium carbonate or scale. This is because the surface temperatures here are the lowest in the loop and calcium carbonate remains dissolved at cold temperatures. Now let's look at the operation of open cooling towers. Very simple and straightforward. However, there are many inherent problems which cause major challenges with downstream equipment. Now in this example, we can see the water is sprayed over the tower packing and the air is drawn up by the fan and discharged from the top. In this process, water is cooled with evaporation and returned to the plant. Let's look at some of the challenges that come with open cooling towers. Now firstly, open cooling towers are excellent air fresheners as whatever is in the air ends up in the water and hence in the downstream plant equipment causing fouling. Secondly, and more importantly, the tower acts as a mineral deposit box with the water evaporating, leaving behind the unwanted minerals, and these can be salts, calcium carbonate, and chloride ions. Thirdly, evaporated water must be replaced by makeup water, and this brings even more unwanted minerals to the recirculating water. Now, flushing is needed to remove the minerals from the system, but it is usually neglected due to high water costs. Typically, the cost of fresh water is about 1.2 euro per meter cube and 0.8 euro per meter cube for disposal. Hence flushing is very much neglected. Lastly, costly chemicals are added to reduce the harmful effects of these accumulated minerals by the water treatment companies where they monitor pH and conductivity. Now let's look into this unwanted mineral, calcium carbonate. If the cooling loop water contains 100 milligrams per liter of calcium carbonate at the start, this concentration is equal to 100 ppm. Now when half the water in the cooling loop evaporates and is replenished, the concentration increases to 150 ppm. And this can double or triple over time. And without flushing, it can reach unacceptable levels and start causing serious problems. Where does it go to? Calcium carbonate 
behaves opposite that of household sugar. In other words, it precipitates out of solution and solidifies when in contact with hot surfaces, just like your kettle at home. The hotter the surface, the more the deposit. And this is mostly at the water-cooled condenser tubes. Now, similar accumulation happens with chloride ions, and they reach excessive levels and cause corrosion to downstream cooling equipment. An alpha Laval gasketed heat exchanger, which is located close to the cooling tower, will protect the plant from the harmful effects of fouling and accumulated minerals. It can be implemented both for existing cooling towers or for new cooling tower purchases. There are two main benefits of using an interchanger. Firstly, for downstream plant equipment, savings are with better heat transfer efficiency, reduced maintenance costs, and reduced replacement or repair costs. Secondly, for the recirculating water, due to a smaller cooling water loop, there are savings with reduced chemicals and reduced water consumption, especially when flushing. Also, there are savings with lower pumping costs by avoiding calcium carbonate buildup in the pipes. Alpha Laval Partners can provide a return on investment proposal with only a few pieces of information. Let's look at an example, return on investment for a tower with 600 kilowatts cooling capacity, running eight hours a day and five days a week. Now the typical plant savings can be estimated at 12,400 euro per year, with the breakdown shown here. Please pause to have a look and analyze. The need of an additional pump and the running cost have been included. The pump investment of around 1,300 euro and the running cost of around 1,500 euro per year. The total investment cost of the gasket heat exchanger, installation and additional pump can be estimated at 20,000 euro. And this would give a return investment of 1.6 years for this application. Some words of caution. Please make sure to specify AHRI performance certification when purchasing the gasket heat exchanger, as selection with tolerances can be made by manufacturers. In this application, a selection tolerance of half a degree Celsius would result in halving the size of the heat exchanger. However, the performance will be unacceptably higher cooling water temperature to the plant. With tens and thousands of open cooling towers installed, there is a huge opportunity to save by installing an interchanger. Remember, it can be implemented both to existing cooling towers or for new cooling towers that are being purchased. So on behalf of the Energy Division Distribution team, thank you for listening and taking the opportunity to help protect our planet.